Let's get to International Men's Day. Bettina Arndt, there's not much hoopla about it. No. Why I mean, not? I'm hearing from men all over the country who say, oh, we, my organisation, my company, whatever I work for, constantly promotes International Women's Day. In fact, even one of the firefighters said to me that they were, had this big thing for International Women's Day and why does it... Well, you know, trying to get the companies to do something for men, nothing. But I suppose the whole point is that uh, men have been dominant uh, historically, uh, had uh, unfair preference historically, and the whole idea well, of Well, arguably. And the arguably. whole idea of International Women's Day is to try and redress the balance and, and encourage women to get more where, where, Don't preference. you think the, the balance has been redressed? Oh, maybe. I mean, like <laughs> I'm decades, talking about when it was started up. Decades, say, decades ago. Yeah. And, and, and you would argue, and others, that they're very serious issues. Uh, confronting men that need to be looked yeah. at. Men are the, by far the majority of suicides, for instance, even victims of... And we have a gender-neutral well. suicide policy. We don't care. You know, we won't address any real issue that affects men because that's not our, the narrative that's popular in our society. Well, well, we'll continue discussing some of these things in a moment, but I want to walk through a series of events that unfolded in the last few days uh, that you've shared with me uh, about uh, men and, uh, and praising men. Let's start off with Bettina Arndt's tweet here uh, relating to the bushfire effort. And she's tweeted out a photo of a man fighting a bushfire. Bettina Arndt has tweeted, our media is full of images of brave men fighting the ferocious fires. As always, it's usually men who do the really dangerous, difficult work protecting everyone else. Give thanks for the good in men. Now, why did you send that out there, Bettina? Because I was watching all these men out there doing this horrendously difficult job, dangerous job, and I thought, why don't we ever talk about the fact that they're mainly men yep, who nope. still do all these things? And I would have, I would have thought that 90% of the population would agree that, with the sentiment in that tweet and that photo. But have a look at the way the Saturday paper, a, uh, a lefty newspaper that's published on Thursdays, I'm told, uh, this is what they do. They put out Bettina's quote and they said, the sex therapist continues her increasingly bizarre campaign against women. Truly, the really dangerous, difficult work is pretending gendered violence doesn't exist, uh, exist. So they've taken your quote, praising men, and said that means you're against women. Which is what Twitter sphere said. I mean, the overwhelming reaction is to say anything good about men means I'm denigrating women yeah. and denying that there are female firefighters. Of course there are female fighters. I'm just saying most of the firefighters overwhelmingly are male. And of course the stats bear that out. And of yeah. course the men are protecting uh, men, women and children and the property uh, thereof. Let's have a look at this though, that uh, Moira Rayner, uh, who uh, retweeted your image, then brought into the argument, she said, that's a woman firefighter. She was trying to pick you up saying uh, it was a woman firefighter. And Buzzfeed, I'll tell you what, this online news organisation has been doing some good work lately. Buzzfeed uh, checked, tra 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 tracked all this down and it was a Gloucester Rural Fire Brigade there uh, just north of the Hunter identified one of their volunteers, Dennis Wamsley, as the photograph subject. Yep, I believe that's me, said Wamsley. So it was a bloke. But, but here's Moira Rayner, former Victorian Equal Opportunity Commissioner, who's been taking pot shots against me all year, who obviously doesn't like me saying anything nice about men, which says a lot about her previous job, doesn't it? And she, in relation to that photo, said I was being presumptuous and foolish. No, you were just I'm actually not... factual. It was factual, a bloke, yeah. And they're all all the, all the major feminists were out. There were 5,000 likes for her tweet saying, hooray, you know, they're up you, Bettina, you know, yeah. and they were wrong. But, not, but it's not relevant, of course. If it had been a photo of a female fighter, so what? The point I was making was real. Yeah. But it's it, mainly men, and you're not allowed to say that. Yeah, we ought to praise this masculinity. This is the masculinity that we ought to aspire to, isn't it? Well, it's, it's one aspect of one, a wonderful uh, thing about men, the fact that they still are willing to put their lives on the line for us. Well, this is uh, an amazing space you've gotten into now, isn't it? This is what you're yeah. doing day in, day out, argue, arguing that, that, that men should be valued and praised as well, and yet you draw so much fire from the feminists. That's right. And, and I think this is a classic example of the fact that the whole debate has got so warped that to say anything, you know, say anything good about men is seen as denigrating women, that you can't ever talk about anything uh, in terms of 
that's good in masculinity without someone jumping on you and constant lies and misinformation. And the other big story in this whole firefighters last week was the story around um, firefighters coming home and bashing their wives. Oh, they, they got that as well. While they're out there fighting the fires, someone said their, 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 their wife bashes. It is shocking. Uh, we are out of time. Thanks so much for joining us, Christina, nice and, and bringing a little bit of International Men's Day to the program. Tiny little morsel. <laughs> Thanks so much. everybody for supporting me on my YouTube channel. I've got growing numbers of subscribers which is really exciting. If you'd like to support me financially go to my donate page on my website. Thanks a lot.